question 11. Now, um, uh, part one, we've got to work out the volume. So you've really just got to picture uh, folding this box up. And um, so let's consider the lengths of the base. So this is going to be the base of the box once you've folded up these four tabs. So this length here, so the longest width, uh, uh, l the longest length of the base is going to be 30 minus x minus x. So 30 minus 2x. This length of the base here is also going to be taking away a couple of x's. So that's 14 take away x and taking away x. And then obviously to work out the volume of a cuboid you multiply the three lengths together. So we've also got to mu multiply it by the height of the box which once this is folded up will be x. So you've really just got to multiply out these three brackets and gather up like terms. So I've started off by doing this bracket times x and then 14 times both of these terms minus 2x times both of these giving me this. Gathering up like terms gives me what I was asked to show. So find the two values of x that give dv dx equals 0. So we need to differentiate this. So remember we're multiplying by the current power and re reducing the power by 1. Multiplying by 2, power becomes 1 and this becomes 420. So this is dv dx which we set equal to naught. I've noticed that it divides through by 4 so I have done so. And then I think it does factorize, um, but I couldn't spot it. So I've just used the quadratic formula. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over two lots of a. a is 3, b is minus 44, c is 105. That gives me uh, 44 plus or minus 26 over 6. So it gives me the two solutions of 11 and 2 thirds and 3. Now, for part three, expl explain why one of these values should be rejected. Well, think about um, the lengths here. Um, now, one of our lengths is 14 take away 2x. Now, if you start substituting 11 and 2 thirds into that, you're going to end up with a negative length, which clearly isn't possible. So you need to reject the 11 and 2 thirds. So we use x equals 3. So we substitute 3 into our volume formula. Now you could substitute it into this formula, that's fine. I just thought it seemed a lot easier to substitute it into my sort of fully factorized one if you like. So I've chosen to substitute it into this version of the volume formula. Uh, so it's a lot easier just to substitute 3 into this, giving me 8 times 24 times 3, which is 576 centimeters cubed.